Hi, this is Mark from Right Line Trading. I uh, just wanted to open up our presentation today on March 27th, uh, 2014, uh, by offering you to sign up for a free trial to our live trading room. You can do so by going to www.rightlinetrading.com or send us an email to info at rightlinetrading.com or call us at 1 855 765 6681. Now, if you go to the home page, www.rightlinetrading.com, there's a link right there um, to sign up for a free trial in our live, in our live um, uh, trading room. So, I wanted to show you just a, another, uh, one other slide uh, before we get into the, um, uh, the uh, presentation of our trading room today and I just wanted to show you that a little bit about a little more of the mechanics of our of our trading this was a 37 tick trade today we took on the Russell and what we're looking for is the SMA 50 this is a this is a simple 50 period moving average this is a proprietary trend line that sort of tracks somewhere between the 15 day X 15 period exponential and 15 period simple and we look for a period where the 15 and the 50 are in the same color and the market breaks below and the candles outlined in yellow or pink in this case it's outlined in yellow and we see that order flow stochastic and momentum are with us to the downside we enter one tick below the close of the candle and down we go for 37 ticks. Now we know we're going to get a retracement and when we do the modified 15 which, which is what we call our right line trend line turns yellow. We do we never take a trade off of a yellow trend line. So when we get this power entry on the yellow trend line we do not trade it. We consider this to be chop. No trade here. Again entry we're above this trend line anyway it's unbroken and we don't trade it so the only tradable setup right here is right here on this 37 tick break now let me bring up our charts we had a great day today in the market again and I wanted to show that to you um, now there's our performance. I can drag that over. Uh, well first, let's take a look at our trades on the Russell. Uh, we only had one trade, and that was that trade I showed you. The 37 tick, two targets. Broke the 15 and the 50, uh, both red, c candle surrounded in yellow, water flow stochastic and momentum with us to the downside on multiple time frames, and we had 37 ticks. As we go across, there it is again. Now we're long since done with the market, but there's your next entry. 50's red, 15's red, a beautiful C candle. Outlined, order flow stochastic and momentum, bam, there's another trade. That was a gorgeous trade. A lot of movement today on the Russell. So one trade on the Russell today. Now let's take a look at gold. go to the start of gold here okay this arrow is the uh, an auto trader trade um, this is before the trading room opened it was at uh, 8 32 uh, 54 a.m. Eastern and it was a 21 tick trade it retraced into the modified 15 
our right line trend line here. Uh, and the auto trader took another trade for 18 ticks. So before I even opened the room, people on the auto trader were up two trades, uh, both two targets. Here was our first trade, um, bounce off the 50, two targets, 18 ticks. Trade came down. That's a bounce. Now we don't trade reversals. What we're really doing here is we are simply, there's the major trend. It's an uptrend. And this is a retracement. And simply a resumption of the uptrend. So we're moving back into the bigger trend, which is up. Now here's a, tr a long trade that I took. This, is, this, was, this was the one auto trader loss. I took this C candle right here. Now the only thing wrong with this trade that I, that I look back, that I look at when I look back, when I, when I analyze it retrospectively, is, is the space between the 15 and the 50 is large. And you can see we have what's called the MA diff, and we want that MA diff, or the difference between the 15 and the 50, to be a maximum of 15. And this was, I believe, just a little bit outside that zone. Um, we don't use stochastic to look at overbought, oversold. We look at market structure to tell us when the market's overbought, oversold. And our market structural analysis, as we define it, told us this market is over is overbought. So it was a little, it was asking a little bit much to take that trade long and that's what happens when you uh, buy into an overbought market well the market fell the 15 is rolling 15 heading down that's your key this modified 15 we have a move down we have we don't take a break of the 50 the 50 is green, wait for a retracement, and then the continuation short, and that got us 10. And then we did it again. Market came down. Retraced right into the modified 15, which is really where we want to take our, our trades. And bam, it gave us a little bit of heat on this trade, I have to say. But we don't care about the heat as long as it uh, cooks the trade right. And it did. We got 12 ticks, two targets. So now we're at, we have three uh, second target hits. 18 ticks, 10 ticks, 12 ticks, all two targets. We have this one loss. And I think that was it. Now, this is later on. We close the trading room, but again, look at this trade. This is just a, I don't know, I, this is a, I call these gimme trades. This is a, just a gorgeous trade. Um, would have been a nice two-target win. Now let's look at crude oil. Not a great market today. Um, you can see we had a nice C candle here. 50's up, modified 15 is up, impulse move up, retracement. You're in one tick above the close of the C. It took a little bit of risk because this was into a pivot. A minor swing pivot, but these C candles, when they're outlined like this, and you have order flow and uh, momentum with you on multiple time frames, I call them pivot busters. So I took a I took a little bit of risk here. As long as I define the risk and I understand the risk inherent in the trade, you know that's that's a, what discretionary trading is all about. You have clearly defined risk. You know what you're doing. You take the trade. It went 18 ticks. Now there was, a, there was a loss I had somewhere that I couldn't, I can't find. 
uh, where was that other loss uh, on the Russell and I don't know if I showed it to you I thought I did here it is this was this was not a great trade either the two losses were, 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 were weak trades this is a bounce off the 50 but you can see there's only two ticks of candle body there's really this really isn't um, a lot of selling confirmation on this candle also the modified 15 is green and we don't want to trade against that modified 15 The modified 15 is right here again I defined the risk I saw that this was a risky trade but I felt that the slope of the 50 was strong enough to the downside and there was so much downside momentum to the trade that would overcome the negative parameters that I clearly saw associated with the trade and the answer is no and the bottom line was is there's no reason to take trades like this when we have so many great trades with almost no associated risk now we were in other trades at the time but look at this trade a retracement trade on a rolling 50 perfect entry this was this was not one we took again retracement trade on a rolling 50 another one we didn't take too many great trades to extend yourself on a trade like this uh, or a trade like the one I took where the MA diff was really really large so we finished out the day with seven trades and five winners uh, Russell was plus 37 and minus 10 on that real you know on that risky trade crude was plus 18 gold was plus 18 plus 12 plus 10 and that minus 10 the loser on gold also had an, a very big um, MA diff the diff difference between the 15 and the 50 a little bit stretch I was stretching it we had a net equity of 75 net ticks of 75 plus 75 net equity was seven hundred dollars based on our on our four contracts and profit targets the auto trader took three trades it took two winners each worth two hundred dollars one loser three hundred dollars for net equity of a hundred now I just wanted to show you we have a couple of um, new, new uh, parameters here you'll see this five well this five tells you the distance between the open of the candle and the distance from the modified 15 and we like the distance between the modified 15 and the um, uh, opening of the candle to be um, four ticks optimally five ticks maximal even less than that is better I mean this is a platform that, that has carefully defined um, all of the all of the features that, that go into defining risk and we've done this with with um, a a tremendous amount of time and effort and looking back over a year of accumulated data so this is um, uh, the distance between candle open and modified 15 in addition we have the slope of the 15 the slope of the 50 it's easier to see here um, the higher the slope of the 50 uh, on a bounce off the 50 the more likely you're gonna get a winner um, we like to look at volume and there's the MA diff we want that MA diff to be 15 or less we want the difference between the 50 and the 15 to be 15 or less so we have totally defined every single parameter that we need um, objectively for us to get an assessment um, by looking at pattern via pattern recognition and looking at all the parameters that the, that the platform provides us in defining the risk associated with every trade that we take so again I mean we're pushing uh, really into a great week yesterday I had five winners and no losers uh, Tuesday I had Mike uh, trade the room he had four winners and no losers so we are really grinding not grinding we are rocketing forward now again I want to mention that you're welcome to come into the room for a, uh, a free trial 
uh, I'll go to uh, you can call us at one eight five five seven six five six six eight one. You can uh, go to the web page, home page. There's a link there to sign up at www.rightlinetrading.com, and you can um, send us an email at info at rightlinetrading.com. Hope everybody has a wonderful afternoon. Thank you.